Russia is losing the drone war, and it's worse than intelligence experts predicted. While Putin's forces still rely on outdated Soviet tactics, Ukraine has unleashed a technological revolution that's rewriting modern warfare in real time. What started as a desperate Ukrainian innovation has evolved into a full-scale drone assault that Russian electronic warfare systems simply cannot counter. Military analysts are stunned by the scale. Ukraine launched 54,000 drone strikes in December 2024 alone. That's one attack every 48 seconds, day and night. Russia's multi-billion dollar air defense systems are being systematically destroyed by $500 cardboard drones. Their advanced fighter jets, including MiG-29s and Su-31s, are being taken out by devices literally made from Ukrainian kitchen tables while sitting on their own airfields. The shocking truth? Russia's military-industrial complex can't adapt fast enough. Their electronic warfare systems that once neutralized Turkey's Bayraktar drones are now useless against Ukraine's new fiber-optic drone technology that can't be jammed. In the next few minutes, I'll break down the four revolutionary drone technologies that have Russian commanders in panic mode, why their counter-drone strategy has catastrophically failed, and how this technological mismatch is completely transforming the future of warfare. The concept of unmanned aerial vehicles began in the early 20th century. They were born out of the necessity of performing missions that were too dull, dirty, or dangerous for humans. UAVs were first used during World War II, primarily as targets for anti-aircraft training. However, they did not find their first combat applications until the Vietnam War. By using them for spying missions, the U.S. Air Force could obtain vital intelligence without endangering the lives of any pilots. By the 1970s, Israel had refined the UAV and developed real-time surveillance systems crucial in modern warfare. During the Yom Kippur War, UAVs were deployed as decoys, sparing Israeli fighter pilots from anti-aircraft missile fire. UAVs did not, however, start to change from merely watching tools to active weapons of war until the 1990s. The U.S. military, seeking ways to minimize human casualties, deployed UAVs like the MQ-1 Predator, armed with Hellfire missiles, to target enemy combatants. Drones were initially introduced as surveillance tools, offering militaries a way to gather intelligence without risking human lives. They could hover over enemy territory for hours, providing real-time data to commanders on the ground. This capability was revolutionary, as armies could monitor hostile movements, track targets, and accurately plan operations. With time, as drone technology matured, its use expanded. By the early 2000s, the US and other countries began to use drones for carrying out lethal airstrikes in the Middle East, targeting high-value individuals without risking lives on the ground. But that was not it. In more recent years, drones have taken on even more advanced roles in warfare. The 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan is a perfect example of it. The conflict showed how drones, like the Turkish Bayraktar TB2, could completely influence the outcome of a war. Azerbaijan utilized the Bayraktar TB2, a low-cost, high-performing, and user-friendly drone manufactured in Turkey, against the armed forces of Armenia. Azerbaijan destroys Armenian infantry positions, artillery, and military equipment, including T-72 tanks, SA-8 Gecko, BMP-1 and BMP-2, BM-30 Smirch, and Strela-10 air defense systems. Its capacity to damage tanks, firearms, and air defense systems made it a nightmare for conventional forces. But as quickly as it rose to fame, it became outdated. Advanced electronic warfare systems and drone jamming technology emerged, blocking the Bayraktar far less effective. For instance, the Bayraktar TB2 was key to precise strikes against Russian forces during the Russia-Ukraine war. At the beginning of 2022, Ukraine had about 20 TB2s, and more arrived during the invasion. These drones were responsible for taking out Russian tanks, military convoys, patrol boats, and even missile systems like the Buk and Tor. In April 2022, they were allegedly used to help sink the Russian cruiser Moskva. However, Russia quickly adapted, employing electronic warfare to jam and disable the drones. Several TB2s were shot down, and by mid-2022, their effectiveness declined. And that's how it gives rise to the technology to counter them, electronic warfare. Technology moves fast, but in war, it moves even faster. The same drones that once dominated battlefields are now being shut down midair, turned into useless crap with the push of a button. Here's how. Electronic warfare operates on a simple principle. Control the airwaves. Control the battle. Modern military forces are deploying electronic countermeasures that can jam, 
hack, or even take control of enemy drones. These ECMs target the communication links between a drone and its operator. Once those signals are disrupted, the drone is blind, deaf, and useless. Take GPS jamming, for example. By flooding the area with false signals or blocking GPS entirely, the drone can no longer find its way. Some even crash to the ground because they don't know where they are. If you're enjoying this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button. It helps this video reach more people who are interested in military tech, and it doesn't stop there. Another is signal jamming, where the communication link between the drone and its operator is severed. Without this link, the drone is essentially blind and useless. In some cases, EW systems can even hijack the drone, taking control and turning it against its side. In 2011, Iran allegedly hacked a U.S. Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel stealth drone using spoofing technology, forcing it to land safely inside their territory instead of returning to its base. With so many drones being disrupted, jammed, or hacked, this was a huge wake-up call for military strategists worldwide. Adaptation is key in the game of war. If electronic warfare drones don't work, the solution is clear. Make smarter drones. Governments and private companies are now developing EW-resistant drones. These next-generation machines are built with hardened communication links, encrypted signals, and AI-driven autonomy. Some of the latest drones don't even need constant human control. Instead, they operate on pre-programmed flight paths and can make decisions on their own if they lose connection. But that's where things get more interesting. If you think a single drone is dangerous, imagine hundreds of them working together like a deadly, synchronized swarm. This is the next evolution in modern warfare. Drone swarms. Drone swarms are exactly what they sound like, a coordinated group of drones operating together to achieve a common goal. Humans can control these swarms, or more disturbingly, operate autonomously using artificial intelligence. This development comes as European nations scramble to keep up with the rapid evolution of drone technology, largely driven by Russia's war in Ukraine. Now this technology is being tested in Sweden. It coordinates up to 100 drones in autonomous swarms. Ukraine has demonstrated how relatively cheap commercial drones, especially FPV, racing drones, can be modified to attack armored vehicles and provide real-time intelligence. Sweden is taking these lessons seriously, opting to develop advanced software that enables drones to patrol roads, identify hostile targets, transmit surveillance data, and return to base for recharging, all without human intervention. The first real-world test of this cutting-edge software will take place during the Arctic Strike 25 military exercise in March. If successful, this software could reduce the need for human operators and establish a model for AI-driven warfare. Imagine a battlefield dominated by hundreds of AI-controlled drones. Do you think this is a good idea or a disaster waiting to happen? Drop your thoughts below. Now, let's take a look at some of the newest drones hitting the market equally deadly as the Swarm software system, the Dragon Drones. First up are the Dragon Drones. What's got everyone talking is their ability to carry chemical and biological payloads, including substances like white phosphorus. Ukraine's use of Dragon drones armed with thermite against Russia is nothing short of terrifying. Footage circulating on social media shows Ukrainian drones releasing streams of white-hot thermite, burning at an astonishing 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This aluminum powder and iron oxide can burn everything in its path. Trees, vegetation, equipment, and, most horrifyingly, human flesh. As thermite falls from the sky, it resembles the fire breath of mythical dragons, giving these drones their ominous name. Defense expert Nicholas Drummond believes Thermite's true power lies in its ability to instill sheer terror. Russian troops under drone attack have reportedly abandoned positions out of fear. Coming up, let's discuss FPV drones. Initially, they were deployed for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR. But now, they are filled with explosive payloads to destroy military targets such as armored vehicles, artillery, air defense systems, and even individual soldiers. The Russia-Ukraine war has witnessed a shocking transformation with FPV drones. Ukraine is reportedly manufacturing tens of thousands of drones per month. Meanwhile, Russia claims to produce up to 4,000 FPV drones daily. The future of FPV drones looks even more alarming. With AI integration, drones could soon operate autonomously, making electronic jamming ineffective. Now, next is something that sounds almost too good to be true. Cardboard drones. Yes, you read that correctly. Cardboard. They are made from eco-friendly, biodegradable materials, 
and low-cost disposable drones, known as the Corvo Precision Payload Delivery System PPDS, have demonstrated how innovation can redefine modern warfare. Ukrainian forces use these Australian-made cardboard drones to attack Russian targets. In Kursk Oblast, they damaged several high-value Russian military assets, including a MiG-29, four Su-30 fighter jets, Pantsir anti-aircraft missile systems, and an S-300 surface-to-air missile defense system. Shocking, isn't it? But what makes these drones so effective? If you want a detailed look at how these disposable drones are changing war, check out our full video on it. Click the link on your screen or in the description below. Last but not least, fiber optic drones are revolutionizing the battlefield with their resistance to jamming and electronic warfare. These drones use fiber optic cables to maintain communication and control, even in the most hostile environments. They can penetrate enemy lines up to 20 kilometers, 12.4 miles, while transmitting high resolution imagery. Plus, the low altitude nature of these drones allows them to avoid detection, enabling precise strikes that have destroyed tanks, howitzers, and military vehicles. Ukraine has started deploying similar technology in response to Russia's fiber optic drones. Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sersky confirmed that nearly half of Ukraine's 54,000 drone strikes in December 2024 were conducted by kamikaze drones, plus they developed mobile radar stations capable of detecting these stealthy devices. With such drones reshaping modern warfare, it's no surprise that nations and companies worldwide are pouring resources into advancing drone technology. Let's take a look at the global investment fueling this revolution. In 2023, the drone market was valued at a staggering $28 billion. But that's just the beginning. By 2024, it is projected to reach $35 billion. And by 2032, it is expected to skyrocket to $208.38 billion. With such explosive growth, it's clear that the world is betting big on drones. Governments worldwide are also playing a crucial role in accelerating drone development. The U.S. government, for instance, introduced the National Drone and Advanced Air Mobility Initiative Act in May 2023, allocating $1.6 billion to boost domestic drone production and research. Similarly, India's Production Linked Incentive PLI, scheme aims to establish the country as a global drone hub by 2030, injecting substantial funds into manufacturing and R&D. Critics argue that the increase of military drones is making war too easy. The U.S. military's use of drones in conflict zones like Afghanistan and Yemen has sparked international outrage, with accusations of civilian casualties and ethical violations. Meanwhile, countries like Turkey and Israel are emerging as major players in the military drone market, exporting their technology to nations with questionable human rights records. Global investment in drone technology is undeniably transforming industries. But where is all this money coming from? Plus, are governments and corporations investing in drones for the greater good? Or are they chasing power at any cost? The question remains. Only time will tell. The rise of drones has made it clear. Modern warfare is no longer about armies clashing on the battlefield. Instead, it's about high-tech, precision strikes delivered by machines. With drone technology continuing to advance, one must ask, are we on the brink of a new age where human soldiers are no longer the front line of defense and autonomous drones become the true warriors of war? What do you think about these shocking developments? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest tech and warfare trends. See you in the next one.